This video is on surface area application. Surface area can be used to solve real world problems. Consider thinking about or thinking through the questions below to help you organize the information and solve the equation or solve the problem. All right. What information are you given? What are you solving for? Uh, we don't do lateral surface area. Total surface area. And does your solution make sense in the context of the problem? Right. That problem number one is lateral surface area. So we want to mark, mark it out. We're not, we're not going to do that one. All right, so we're going to start with number two. All right, a cereal box measures two inches by eight inches by 12 inches. It is cut from a piece of cardboard that measures 600 square inches. How many cereal boxes can be cut from this piece of cardboard? So what we know is the total square inches. And we know the dimensions. What we need to know is how many boxes can be cut from this piece of cardboard. We've got our dimensions, and we've got 2, 8, and 12. So remember your combinations. 2 times 8, 2 times 12, 8 times 12. We've got 16, 24, and 96. And we're going to add those up. That's going to give us the total for the three sides. But we know that we have 6, so we're going to multiply it by 2. And you get 272 inches squared. So we're going to take that $600, 600 total that we have, and we're going to divide it by 272 to see how many we can make. And when we do that, we get 2.2. .2. Well, you know, we can't make a point to a box, so two boxes can be made. All right, problem three. A shoebox is covered with packing pa packing paper before being shipped. It measures 16 by 10 by 8. The paper costs 0 0.01 cents per square inch. How much will it cost to cover three boxes? And what you know is the paper cost zero point zero one cents per inch squared. And you know the dimensions. What you need to know is how much does it cost to cover three boxes or three shoe boxes with packing paper. So we've got our dimensions of 16, 10, and 8. We've got 16 times 10, 16 times 8, 10 times 8. So we've got 160, 128, and 80. We're going to add those together. We get 368. And that's for three sides. So we multiply it by 2 to get 7. And we get 736. And then we multiply that by the 0 0.01, and that gives us $7.36 a square inch. All right, so we take that 7.36, the money that we have, and multiply it by 3, and that's going to give us 22.08.
number four, Jamie's going to paint four blocks in the shape of a cube for his sister's inquiry, sister's nursery. Each cube has a side length of 3.3 inches. How much paint will he need to cover all the blocks? So the cube side length. is 3.3. What we want to know is how much paint will he need to cover four blocks. All right, the formula for surface area of a cube is six side squared, so we have six and then we have 3.3 because that's a side squared and that gives us 65 34 inches squared per one box so then we take that 65 34 multiply it by four and we get two thousand sixty one dollars and thirty six cents not two thousand two hundred sixty one dollars and thirty six cents and then number five is lateral surface area so we won't do that one any questions asked